Right. The next thing that I want us to talk about is the general term for a geometric sequence. Remember that all these three sequences that we have, they've got their own general term. In this particular case, it is Tn is equal to A times R to the power N minus 1. Remember that if I've got a sequence like this, like 2, 4, ah, let me just stop here. 2, 4, what will be the next term? In other words, what will be the third term there? Okay, others are saying 6, which is okay. Others are saying 8, which is also okay. But now, which one do we know? Because this can be 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. Or it can be 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So what will be the third term? This is confusing. The point here is, you cannot tell what type of a sequence that would be if you've got only two terms. You must at least have a minimum of three terms to tell what type of a sequence is that. Because if I've got two, this might be an arithmetic sequence or a geometric sequence. Let's just make it a geometric sequence in this case. Two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. So the first term here is two, the second term is four, the third term is eight, the fourth term is 16. What will be the next term? 16 times 2, it will be 32. So that's how we get the sequence going. Now, let's look at this one. Remember here, on the arithmetic sequence, we said it had the common difference because we checked it. 8 minus 6, it was 2, same thing. 6 minus 4, it was the same thing. And 4 minus 2, it's the same thing. Can we get the same thing there? Let's check it. What is 16 minus 8? We get uh, 16 minus 8, we get 8. What is 8 minus 4? Ah, we get 4. So it's not common. They're common in Defanayo. It should be the same for us to call it the common difference. So this sequence doesn't have a common difference. Oh, we should make a common difference in an. Let's check it. Look at this one now. This is 16 divided by 8. What is 16 over 8? Let's write it down. What is the answer? 16 divided by 8, it gives us 2. What is 4? What is 8 divided by 4? It also gives us 2. Ah, Sigafana Manj. Something common is coming up. What is 4 divided by 2? It is 2. When we divide, it's a ratio. So this one, we said it has a common ratio. It has a common ratio. So what type of a sequence is this? It is a geometric sequence. So that's how you identify these sequences. Remember, the arithmetic progression or the arithmetic sequence, it will always have the common difference. And you must have at least three terms to be able to tell what type of a sequence that is. The geometric sequence, we'll have a common ratio we divide. In other words, how do we calculate, let me just come back here. How do we find the common difference? The, co the formula to find the di common difference, T, in other words, D would be equals to T2, this term, the second term, the second term minus the first term. So it's T2 minus T1, which is the same as T3 minus T2, T3 minus T2. So it should be the same thing, or it's all I here, so that we call it the common difference. So how do you find the common ratio? Common ratio, it's the same thing. R is equals to T2 over T1, which is the same as T3 over T2, which is the same as T5 over T4, which is the same as T6 over T5. So the bigger one is always on top. It is a ratio, a common ratio. The answer I get here must exactly be the same as the answer that I'm getting there. I'm, and I'm getting it from the first line. That is what we call a common ratio. So we are saying that how do we identify the geometric ones? It has a common ratio. Right, let's look at this one. Generally, what do we call the first term? The first term we call it A. So the first term, we generally call it A. What, how, how do we move from this term to this term in this particular sequence, the geometric sequence? How do we move from the first term to the second term? So generally, the second term, we refer to it as A times the common ratio. In this case, R. 2 times 2 is 4. Right. So it's A times R. That is how we move into the second term. So generally, in all the geometric sequence, this is how you find the second term. It is A times the common ratio. The third term, T3. Remember, this is number 13. You must be able to read patterns as we move forward. Read, the, you read your pattern. So if I'm I want to find the third term, how do I move to the third term? I set 2 times 2, which is the common ratio, times another 2, which is another common ratio. 
to get to get a. So this will be a times r times r, which is r squared. So it's a r to the power two. Look at the pattern again. Utula, term two is equal to the first term times r. This r is to the power one. If I've got two here, I will have my r to the power one. Now, what if I have three? T3 would be equals to A times R to the power 2 R. There's something that I'm starting to pick up now. Whenever I have 3 here, I will have 2 there. Now, what if I have T4? T4, term number 4. Can you tell me what this will be? Term 4. How many common ratios did I multiply with? 1, 2, 3. So the fourth term, to, go into, to reach the fourth term, I've got to have A times R to the power 3. Let's do the same thing again. Can you predict what term 10 would be. Term, because I don't have it here, it's predict term 10, T10. What do you think term, term 10 will be? Looking at this pattern here, we can tell what term 10 will be. Because I, knew, I know when I've got four there, I know exactly what will I have that side. So term 10 will be equal to AR to the power nine. But the question is, how did you find nine? All right, this helped me to find my nine. So this is how I did it, T10, is equals to a r to the power this number which is nine in, in this case which is 10 i subtracted one on it but what is 10 minus one it is nine because that's how i found it but generally how would i find any term tn ah once i have tn there i know that what i've got to do on my exponent let's do this thing so i will have a times r to the power n minus one that's it that's how we find the general term this is how we find this general term of a geometric sequence. It is Tn is equals to A times R to the power N minus 1. Then there's a third one called the quadratic sequence. This sequence is coming from the quadratic equation. So as you know that it is Ax squared plus Bx plus C. So instead of A, we still use A. Instead of X, we just use N in this particular sequences. We call those the quadratic sequences. Remember that this one, how do we identify this one? It has the first common difference. This one, it has a common ratio we divide. That other one, it has a second common difference. As we move on, I will show you how do we go about using the quadratic sequences. These two, these first two sequences, the arithmetic sequence as well as the geometric sequence, you are also examinable to find their sum. So I want us to talk about the sum of the two. In the third one, the quadratic sequence, you're not going to be asked about the sum. Syllabus itself will end up on a, uh, the, the end term, or the general term, or the last term in this particular case. I want us to look at the sum now of both the arithmetic sequence and the geometric sequence. Mm -hmm.